This is what we got today, guys. Tier 1 Concealed Holster or the T-Rex Arms Holster. You're going to see which one is better. So stay tuned. Yo, what's up everybody, man? Thank you for tuning in for another one of those bangers, for another one of them bangers. You know, we got, today we got the T1 Concealed Holster and the T-Rex Arms. We gonna, we gonna put them up together and see the pros and cons of each, I guess, and uh, which one I like better. And yeah, man, we're gonna start with the T1. Nah, let's start with the T-Rex, T-Rex. I had this holster for longer. I had the first version of it. This is actually the second version of it. Um, out of those two, this one's way better because of this little movement on this, the wing on the magazine carrier is just way better. That design, it molds to your body. Um, this this little clip right here, you know, this is made for when you put the belt on, it pushes, uh, it pushes the gun closer to your body. It does come in the back, so you have to like swap it out. I swapped it out to the front, you know, it gives it more, more space for it to get cached onto the belt. The clips are pretty good. These clips go onto your belt slide right right over your belt they clip in they work well i've seen better ones um they never failed me every time i draw this my gun from this holster the holster never came out with it so they do their job i have a surefire x100 on this one so the holster's a little longer to accommodate for the light comfortability is it's a little it's it's comfortable. I uh, I mean, if it didn't have the the light part, it will feel better. It will sit a lot better. But since I got the light on there, it does dig into my thigh when I'm driving or when I'm walking for long. And, you know, sometimes it does bother. But it is what it is. You know, you're carrying the gun. It's it's gonna be a little uncomfortable. Um, one thing I do love about this holster setup is it has this pin right here where we could remove it, and you could remove the mag carrier. And I believe T-Rex Arms has a number of other items you could put there, handcuffs, tourniquet holder, and I don't know if they got something else on there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. You could swap that out. I like to carry an extra mag, so I just came with the extra mag carrier there. Um, this is a great holster. It works. I have the, I have the mid sweat guard. So you won't feel it rubbing up on my legs, I'm on my on my stomach. I don't feel sweaty, uh, a gun on my stomach. And it's a good holster. It, 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 it really does its job well. Conceals really well. The, the price point. These things are pretty expensive for what they are. I feel all all the holsters, all these holster companies. It's pretty expensive for a piece of Kydex that's already just heated up and bent and they carve out whatever they do I think it's pretty expensive for what it is like the materials that kydex ain't that expensive but the craftsmanship is great and it works well um, one thing I don't like about the t-rex company uh, when they what they do with these holsters if I always buy a black because if you get a, a, co a, co a coyote brown or OD green holster your mag carrier is gonna come black and me, I just don't like that. You know, some other people might not care. I don't like that. If I'm getting a green holster, I want my mag carrier or my handcuff carrier to be a OD green as well. All right, but that's just me. That's just me. You might not like, you might not care. I care. So that's one thing I don't like. The clips are fine. I mean, it's a great holster. I rocked it for a long time. I rocked it for, had it for like five, six years. Not this one, obviously, but T-Rex Arms holsters in general. Rock that, the, the Gen 1 version of this. I didn't have no issues with it then. I mean, like I said, it's a little uncomfortable. It's a lot getting used to carrying a gun on you. But you, know, you practice with it, train with it, you should be fine. Um, great holster. Price is a little high. They don't come with the same color mag carrier and holster. I don't like that. Um, comfortability. It's very comfortable. If you don't have a Surefire X300, some people like it. I got it because I, I run my gun with a light and that's the light I had on that gun at the time, so I just rocked it like that. But, good holster. 
Now the tier one. Very good made holster. Very good made holster. Kind of the same as the T-Rex arms with the with the little pivot. They have a bungee cord here. Um, right off the bat, one thing I don't like is this. I don't like that. But I will tell you, as you're wearing this, that does not play a major role or any role in being uncomfortable or noisy or anything like that. This thing moves with you, and it's pretty cool that it does that. And their little belt, little piece right here that goes against your belt, I don't know what they call it. But it kind of works a little bit better than the T-Rex arms, I think. I think it works a little bit better because you can make them as thick or as thin as you want. You can stack them and you know it's more it's more like adjustable to the to the person um the kydex i kind of like this kydex better i like tier one's kydex better and i like their their all overall design i just don't like the flimsiness of the of the bungee they do have an option where they have three buckles but i went with this one right? try it out it's the first time I, I, I got a tier one it's the first tier one I had and I also like if you're gonna get the holster in gray that the mag carrier comes in gray you know so I like that about them they also have a, some a rigid edge right here which helps conceal the magazine with your belt so that's another plus the t-rex arms only has it on one side but with this with this right here, they only have this clip, and there's nothing on the magazine carrier, really. See, the tier one has that on the magazine carrier, and have it here. Has a little T1 in the front. It's pretty cool. They incorporated that into the into the mold of the uh, holster. And I'm running this 43X with the TLR 7 sub. Now, it's hard to compare these two as to be which one is more comfortable due to... The, it's different different firearms of course the 43x is gonna be more comfortable it's a smaller gun slimmer gun it's meant to be concealed carried and you know of course this is gonna be way more comfortable so I can't say this is gonna be more comfortable than the than the t-rex arms okay in the back here I have these wedges tier one has these wedges to help with the with the way the gun sits so when you're, when you're rocking the gun without these wedges it kind of it kind of like wants to force itself out from your body but these wedges do when they're in place, it helps to keep it back more flush to your body. So that's what that that's what that does. I really like I really like this tier one holster. I really do like it. I'm gonna get another one for my Glock 19 and then I'm gonna compare and see which one is more comfortable. Keep the X300 option on there and we'll see from there. But other than that, these two holsters are really good. I recommend both of them. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a preference thing. Do you like do you like the this option here with the pin and you can remove it and put your handcuff trying to get hold of whatever you want to put on there do you like that or do you like this you have the bungee or the or the buttons and they have the, the space here to keep the, 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 the gun the mag close to your uh, the body and this is just a good gun good holster I'm sorry but that is a damn good gun too These are close. They're close. Price point too. I believe this. They're about the same price. I want to say this is a little bit more expensive. I want to say this is a little bit more expensive. But you kind of get. I'm not gonna say a better made holster. This Kydex is thicker. This is a thinner Kydex than compared to what I got on this. But I I kind of like the tier one a little better. And I've been rocking with T-Rex arms for a long time. But this tier one feels a lot better. Even the Kydex. The Kydex, man. This Kydex feels a little, little, you know? Like, not it. This Kydex was a little bit more sturdy. Like I said, I still recommend both of them. I carry T-Rex arms for a long time. I just started carrying this about uh, four, four or five months. Four or five months now. And I got to say, this has been a lot more comfortable. Maybe because it's a smaller gun. I'm gonna buy the 19, the 19 holster and see how that feels too, but if I have to choose, I'm going with the tier one. No, no salt on these guys though. They both fire holsters. Um, there's, a, there's a couple other companies out there that I haven't tried, so I'm not gonna speculate, but these are, in my opinion, the best holsters for appendix carry that I've had so far. 
and go get one, go get one, go get one, and go practice, and go train, and go shoot, and dry fire, and brush your teeth, and mind your business, and stay out of trouble, stay safe, thank you for tuning in, of course it's REF Vlogs, catch you guys again.